Hello YouTube. I uh, finally got some books together. So I was like, all right, I get to make a video. These are things I picked up in uh, December, January, and February. And here we are with X-Men number 17. When I was growing up, uh, X-Men was definitely my favorite title. I haven't really collected any X-Men over the past two years or so. Just been collecting, grabbing up different things. But I saw this issue and I had to get it. I mean, this is really cool Silver Age red cover. Jack Kirby artwork on the cover there. Um, nice looking, fine condition. Has plenty of uh, little, you know, little spine stresses. But the uh, book is like solid and put together really well. I mean, it's just... Got some tanning and some overall wear here and there. It's been handled and read plenty of times, but whoever had it before me tried to keep it in a good condition. So, really cool Magneto appearance at the end of the book. So, that's uh, it was nice to pick up an X-Men comic after all this time that I haven't bought any. Um, also picked up Avengers 59, first appearance of Yellow Jacket. Also, probably in about fine plus condition. Daredevil, number five. A little Wally Wood artwork. Got the first appearance of the Matador. One of those awesomely bad early Daredevil villains. Along with, like, say, the Stilt Man and uh, Leap Frog. You know, he's really bad daredevil villains that from his rogues gallery they like to call it yeah, the matador i mean it's getting more cheesy than that cheesy in a good way though speaking of uh bad daredevil villains there's one of my favorites the owl um this is who did this this is uh gene colin artwork i think this is his first work on the uh daredevil titles in this one Picked up Daredevil number 21. More Gene Colan artwork. And uh, got a little, speaking of Gene Colan, got a little Bronze Age goodness here. Tomb of Dracula, I'm trying to get the whole series, 1 through 70. So I've uh, been trying to pick those up whenever I can. Great series. Can't say enough good things about it. Cool stories, awesome artwork. Just really great, you know. Got 29. Picked up 36. Shoot 39. 44. Trying to fill in that uh, run as best I can. 46. And I was able to pick up uh, number 47. A little more Bronze Age book I've been trying to get for a while. Night Nurse number one. Another one of those uh, only lasted for four issues. Another one of those kind of, uh, at the time, cheesy titles. Now, now looking back now, it's just totally awesome. <laughs> I mean, got the cool picture frame. You know. Don't see these too often at a comic book store. At least I don't. Usually when I see them online, it's either... A, a very high grade CGC copied, which, you know, I don't want to pay a couple hundred dollars for Night Nurse number one. I didn't want it that bad. Just something I kind of wanted in my collection. Or I see like a really low grade that, you know, doesn't really have much eye appeal and has just a little too much going wrong with it. This is the nice, uh, probably mid grade copy, probably about a 7 0. So I was glad to finally get one of those. Um, and of course, uh, my video wouldn't be complete if I didn't have a little amazing Spider-Man. Of course, I picked up an issue or two of that. Here we go, uh, issue number 89. This is a really cool Ramita cover. Um, this is Gil Kane's first artwork uh, for Spider-Man. I believe it is his first work on the title. I like the, the Ramita cover. I got the three panels of action. Really cool. I like that. So I, I love Ramita's uh, work right during this time period, man. It's freaking killer. And 
boom, issue number 11. Got a little Steve Ditko action. So I picked up, you know, got a little Bermuda Gill, Kane, and Ditko. Uh, number 11, nice uh, low-grade copy. And what I mean by nice low-grade is it's got plenty of things wrong with it, which means plenty of spine wear, plenty of color-breaking creases. All the corners are banged up. However, the center of the book is uh, doesn't have any tape. Uh, no one wrote on it on pen. Got no heavy creasing right in the middle of the book, so it doesn't distract from the awesomeness of the Steve Ditko cover or anything like that. But it's got tanning, you know, the back cover's dirty and foxing, stains and all that. But it still has a lot of good things going for it. Like, it's got no really bad rips or tears, no... Nothing's missing. Staples are firmly attached. Center folds firmly attached. Staples actually aren't rusty at all, believe it or not, on this. And I looked carefully, and they don't look like they've been tampered with at all. Everything looks like the way it's supposed to. But you know, it's been it's definitely lived a it's definitely lived its life. You know, being flipped through and enjoyed and all that. Kind of like the way I like my uh, early Silver Age. Nice, but you know, doesn't break the bank. It's, so uh, that's that's all I've been able to pick up, but I got I've filled out some nice stuff here. I got a, two Spider Mans I needed. I'm trying to get that one through a hundred run someday. I don't know. It's a lifelong goal. The other guys like Schmo Daddy too and uh, um, Hippies Collectibles are going for like one through four hundred or one through five hundred. I'm like, man, I don't know. <laughs> good luck, man. I hope you, I hope you guys do it, but man, just one through hundreds. <laughs> that's a that's a heck of a goal right there. You guys got. But yeah, I like seeing you guys add to them. Um, also, got a Night Nurse number one. That was pretty cool. Filled in my Tomb of Dracula slowly. And even got an X-Men book. So, pretty good haul. Um, thanks for watching. And of course, I'm always watching everybody else's videos. Uh, take care.